Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to I Leave My Garage Time. Uh, tonight, I want to uh, talk about this 85Z28. Now, this kit is by revealing a skill level four, a skill level four kit. Um, it this kit snaps together. Um, uh, I had to look on the box to make sure it wasn't a snap tight uh fit kit. Um, I don't even really think no glue is required because everything snaps together. Um, from the exhaust, and suspension, front and rear suspension, all that snaps in. Uh, if you see saw my unboxing video that I did of this car, um. The hood is the only thing that don't snap in. It just goes in place. Um, the engine in, engine has snapped together. Um, the bottom of the engine snaps on to the to the bottom here. Uh, the radiator, the engine, all the engine, the the fan, the belt and pulley assembly, all that stuff snaps right together. The breather snaps together. And of course, this uh, engine bay is all one piece, and it and it's, it snaps on, and then the suspension goes on. That's what holds it on. The lights, the headlights, snap right in. This piece here, license plate holder, it snaps right in. Tail lights, they snap right in. Uh, the windows snaps right in, and you also. If you can tell on this window here, it has the rear defrost molded into the window. <clears throat> now, the mirrors, they sort of slide in, slide in between the door panel and the uh, actual body itself. The seats, so uh, on the chassis, um, the subframe, it has some um it has some stems uh, studs i say they got studs coming up and um you put let's see how do they go to the frame i think the sub frame goes on and then the seats they each all those all three goes on that on that stud. Uh, the steering column and the steering wheel they sits in place, snap together. This kit, uh, the gear shifter, it just sits in place. This kit really does not need any glue at all, <clears throat> not at all. Um, and they call it a skill level four kit. Uh, normally, when you dealing with a Skill level four kit, uh, it's you know requires a little bit more work, but all you have to do is just paint this car, paint it and or prep it and paint it and you know snap it together and put the decals on it. Now to have it more secure, you probably would have to put glue, but I mean it's it's pretty steady right now. And the wheels they spin, um, man, it's it's. This is gonna be the easiest easiest build besides that Ford Galaxy that I built. Uh, this is almost like a curbside kit if you ask me, but just with the engine, you know, because the curbside kit, they it goes together, you know, it's smooth. Itself, it has four screws in the, you know, that hold it in, but you know, <clears throat> but. Uh, I don't know what color I'm going to paint this car yet. I think I'm going to paint it black. But I just want to, you know, it's a cool kit. Um, it's a cool kit. Um, if you just want a quick build, you know, pick up this kit. Um, I can't believe, though, the price, the original price of it was $34.99, you know. Of course, you get the forty percent off, which is good. Another way you won't have to pay because with taxes, you'll probably pay right at forty bucks for this kit, you know, which is I think is too much. 
because of, you know, they don't have a chrome tree. Um, I don't, to me, it shouldn't even be a level, uh, a skill level for a kid. Like I said, because everything is simple, you know, it's not even that many parts and it just goes together, you know. Um, let's see. So there's the front end. There's the rear end. As y'all can tell, I'm really putting a little force to unsnap these pieces off of here. Oh, so there's the mirrors. They slide out. Um, see the seat. It's got a hole right here. Um, it's got now this back piece right here. You would have to glue on for sure. But there's that stud I was talking about. See, I had to force it off. The gear shifter comes out. Dash. The dash, it sits in right here. That's what keeps it in place. The wheel comes off. It I'm I'm I have to pull I have to use a little force to pull this stuff out, y'all. Um now this way, this okay. Let me uh, you got the man. This I, it's on here. I'm gonna break it anyway. So there's the top part. There's the intake with the uh, the valve covers and everything on it, which snaps off into here. Your radiator, it snaps off in a in a little hole too. Hit right here in the, in the front, right here. And um, your engine bay snaps off into there, like so. And oh, you got your your uh, exhaust. You can paint this car and have it together in ten minutes. No paint needed. There's the engine. It has studs at, at the bottom of it too that goes off into here. And this here comes off of here too. Hmm. Oh, shit. I didn't break it. You know, but let's just show y'all, you know, how. And this gas tank comes off right here. Gas tank comes off. So your window, just press in right here. I got the. It don't need to be glued. So there you have it. All right, y'all. So let me show y'all what I, that truck I'm working on. I, I, I'm. Let me show y'all so. So I'm still working on this truck. All right. Uh, still working on it. I have to figure out how to, the mirrors. Uh, see, like this part here, man. I'll be having trouble with stuff like this. I'm trying to figure out the uh, how the hinges. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm just going to take my time with it. When I get it done, I get it done. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to stress myself about it. But so far, it's looking OK. So yeah, that's the update on that. I might go ahead and just on that Camaro tomorrow and get it done. All right, y'all, that's it, and that's all. I'm out.